it's welcome to the fifth tutorial of uh, survival craft and today we're gonna do something known as truth table circuit so let's see Ooh, this looks so yeah i just do certain sort of time pass and this is what i've made a hole to the core the core looks a matte like finish the process so i came to a and you can actually see that they have used the signs that are uh, this round. It's very good. So, coming back to our uh, digital to analog converter circuit, I've just converted this into a truth table circuit. So, what changes have I done? First of all, I have changed the digital to analog converter to truth table circuit. I've put the new system here, you can see. The truth table circuit some dots and lines and something and secondly instead of led light we have put a light bulb here you can see it right okay so these are the two things which i have done now let's see how a truth table works a truth table circuit you can see here you have a sneak option which when you go near a truth table become something like a writing pad symbol you can see a sneak symbol changes to a writing pad symbol whenever it changes to a writing pad symbol means you can edit the uh, program within it so when i click on this it says edit truth table the truth table defines output values for all possible combinations of inputs what does it mean actually that's what many people are confused it means that supposedly for a uh, value 0101 which I know is 5 I have put a tick mark means whenever there will be a 0101 combination the light will go uh, or you can say um, an output signal will be generated which will light up the bulb similarly it will also do for A because this is 9 so okay, let's make it 9 9 and E okay you can also do it something like this if you want to but I don't recommend so here we are so right now in another value input value as 5 so you can see 0101 and there is a LED bulb glowing up here um, let's change it now it's 1, it's not glowing, 3, not glowing, 2, not glowing, 4, not glowing, 5, glowing, because I've programmed it to 5. Similarly, if I put 9, uh, 9 looks something like this, yeah, it's still glowing, that means it's working. Similarly, E, uh, yeah, this is E. 1110 so even it will click so using two table circuits is actually not so difficult uh, it's saying that uh, there is four input signals to this one two three four which represent the four respective four bytes or respective four binary number which you give it and uh, the output is generated from behind so you have to use a wire block and the output is connected to this uh, light bulb okay so this is it about a truth table now what are the best things about truth table or what best can you use so let me show you what best can you do when you use truth tables you can make this great gigantic circuit okay uh, this approximate size is almost this much i guess and it's obvious that I'm not gonna make this again. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this again. Mm, it's a huge wire layout also. It's quite a simple though. I'll tell you what it is. I'll just explain one of these. Mm, let's take this one. What I've done is from the counter. Uh, this is now let me tell you what it is actually it's a seven segment display 
सेवन सेगमेंट एल ई डिस्प्ले तो आई नहीं लुक दिस वन आई गेस नोट दिस ओके दिस इज टू एक्टिवेट दिस वन एंड दिस इज टू एक्टिवेट दिस वन सो लेट्स एक्टिवेट दिस जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन So this is how you can make it actually. And the question I guess is how to make it. That I will tell you later. I guess I will make uh, one similar to this, where you can understand how it is made. But for the instance, let me tell you the counters. Uh, the counters uh, wire. This is the counters wire. Is laid here. You can see this. Is laid here, and it is entered through here. This is a series of wire through blocks. If you know, a series of wire through blocks. Obviously, it's been knowing it. It is connected to analog to digital converter. <coughs> Sorry. Now, this analog to digital converter converts the signals which I put into the truth table. But respectively, the one of the analog goes to one of the truth table. The two goes goes here, winds up and comes here to two. Similarly, three is three and four also. You can see it goes behind. From here it goes up and here four. So we have to connect one to one, two to two, three to three, and four to four. Is true table, and if the combination is true, it will send this signal. And this signal is connected to the upper two bulbs of this seven segment display. This is one segment. The two bulbs, pair of two bulbs, is one segment. So this is a one segment. This is one segment. This is four, five, six, seven. You can see as you go down. So this are the pair of segments. And you have to connect it to a pair of segments. So this is how it's the best use of truth table. Another use is password. I guess I have this. Another way you can use it in two table circuits as a password. As you can see this code seventy six and the lights don't glow. It means there's some problem. The password is wrong. So once I just go in and click five, it glows. So seventy five is the password. Now I have programmed this. So you can see the value of the counter goes to this LED to show what the, its value is, and the other value goes behind this. What's behind this? Analog to digital converter. From here, I have converted from one. I have given signal to one. From two, I have taken up two from here, and then I have moved it from here and two here. See, this is making wiring required skills. Three to three, four to four. You can see same mirror image copied here. Okay, and its output. The output of the truth table which is here, in front of me, here. Okay, similarly, this is the output from here. I've connected this two to an AND gate, and which is connected to two. I'll explain AND gate in logic. It it requires both the values to be high or one, so that it can give the output one, else it's always zero. This is a password log in. Instead of putting two bulbs, you can just put a door, and it lights. You need a password. If you put that password, the door gets opened. Something like that. So it's an awesome thing. In fact, you should better try it out. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.